Okay, thank you for, for being here in this press conference with the coach, uh, Pat Noonan, and the player, Matt Miazga, from Cincinnati. If you have any question, please use the uh, hand tool, and we will start uh, here and with on-site questions. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, well, we just got a express in your opinions how important it is that the club to have gotten to if it's, um, being here and now competing and what this means moving forward as the regulation. Yeah, it was part of our goal in the, in the previous year was to enter into this competition, which would have meant we were um, doing something right in league play. And obviously that came in the for form of the supporter shield, but it's great for our you know club to be, you know, now uh, observed in more than just league play and, and our cup competitions. Um, you know, domestically, we, we get to challenge ourselves against the best in the region. And um, we're, I think we're excited about the opportunity. Um, you know, we'll see tomorrow what that looks like. But I think the group's ready. It's been a long preseason, but we're ready to compete. And, and I like the fact that we get to uh, start the year off with an unfamiliar opponent in a, in a tough atmosphere. And then, what is the thing you expect to be the biggest challenge for your group tomorrow? I would just say the different, uh, you know, variables to what we're accustomed to seeing from a new opponent to uh, a new environment. Um, you know, we just finished training. There's going to be some challenges with, you know, the conditions, whether it's a field. We, we experienced wind today. I don't know if we'll experience that tomorrow. New ball that we've, you know, kind of um, integrated at different times into our preseason. But, you know, none of that's to to have any kind of excuse before we kick off. It's just understanding the elements. And I think uh, our guys are prepared for that. Okay, we will continue with Laurel Faller in Zoom, please. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, Pat, you had mentioned just trying to get the players, you know, just because it's a different environment, just trying to get the players up to speed on, you know, some of those challenges that come with um, a new environment like that. So um, I guess do you feel, I guess now that you're there, um, how is the the surface look? Like what, what do you feel about the conditions? And then Matt, if you could also um, kind of comment on from the player's perspective, just what it's like now being there and just what you're feeling about the environment. Yeah, the conditions are, the conditions are good. You know, we'll be able to play on a, on a good field tomorrow. Does it look like, you know, our home field uh, at TQL? No, but um, you know, and looking at our group, we have, roughly a dozen, you know, coaches and players that have experienced, you know, Champions Cup competition. So I wouldn't say it's new to everybody, but um, there's still a, a lot of uh, faces that haven't, um, you know, experienced this. So it's just for those that have trying to help educate, you know, the different uh, challenges that you face, um, but the group's ready. Yeah, uh, just like the guy said, uh, the group's ready. It's the uh, start of a new season. So uh, the excitement's there. Uh, we've prepared well all, all preseason. It was long, but it was definitely worth it. And uh, now we can step on the pitch tomorrow and, and showcase ourselves and obviously uh, be ready to go. I don't think uh, the conditions play a part. I think the reality is they have the same conditions. I think they're definitely doable, and uh, we're just ready to go. We're ready, we're ready to compete and ready to put on a good performance. Thank you. We will continue with Patrick Brennan, please. Thanks a lot. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes. All right, cool. Cool. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, Matt, this question is for you. What is your understanding of uh, Cavalier at this stage? Um, do you have any familiarity with these players, this league? And, uh, yeah, what just what do, you, what do you know of Cavalier at this point? Yeah, we obviously, know, we obviously know that they're a good team. They're in this competition for a reason. So, um it's going to be a challenge for sure. We know that they're top of the league uh, in their own respective league, so they're definitely uh, accustomed to winning, and it's going to be a challenge. I think they're, if I'm not mistaken, they're 18 or 19 games in, um, so they're definitely fit and, and prepared, and you know, we just had a good preseason of training and, and ready to go, so 
Uh, today we're actually going to go over the scout and the and the pregame uh, uh, and analysis of them. So we'll definitely get more familiar tonight and prepare a game plan and get ready. Thank you. We'll continue with Glenn Crooks. Please, Brent. Hey, Pat. Hey, Matt. Uh, Pat, I want to ask you about the uh, contract extensions of your assistants. We spoke last year about how your success at Philadelphia kind of guided you into the position you are now in at Cincinnati, and we thought maybe Dominic Kinnear in particular uh, would have another uh, would have have another uh, opportunity maybe out there as a head coach. But uh, and Matt, I want to ask you the kind of the same question as to which one of those assistants maybe you work with mostly, or or just your reaction in general from both of you. Yeah, very pleased. Um... You know, when you go into to an off season, and and just like players, when the the teams had success, and maybe there's uh, more recognition of that success. You know, you look at who plays a part, and uh, you know our coaching staff uh, has done an incredible job. Um, I'm very fortunate to to work with these guys every day, and um, you know they're sought after, and so to be able to. Um, to get them to to sign extensions and and continue to um, you know want to be here and work on this project uh, together, I'm I'm very proud of that, and so um, you know we, we continue to work forward in a in a good way to to accomplish our goals. But all of those coaches are a huge part of this group's success. Uh, I didn't even know they signed extensions or today announced. No, okay, well, no, I'm obviously happy as well because uh, you know we we all saw the success we've had, you know. In 23, obviously in 22, building that foundation, um, and everyone's played a major role here. Um, so I'm glad to uh, to know that they're secure for the future as well. But for me, I think every single one of them has been a big part. You know, everyone plays a good role. You know, Paul Rogers obviously is taking care of the goalkeepers and our set pieces, the defen defen defensive set pieces. So he's he's really important for us. You have Dominic Kinnear, who's obviously more of the strikers coach and and helping those guys and. And kind of you know pushing them but also you know with his experience he helps everybody Kenny Arena I probably work with the most just because he's mostly with the defenders and you know he's been great with me and very detail oriented and in video analysis when he brings the defenders together and then you have obviously Ricky who works with the midfielder so he's been great as well and I think he's a good bridge between you know the Latin players and 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 the team because he can speak uh, both languages. So, uh, yeah, I'm pleased to hear that. So uh, it's exciting for the club to to reward them, and I'm sure that you know we'll continue to have success uh, with with everybody together. Thank you. We finalized this uh, press conference. Thank you, Coach Pat. Thank you, Matt, and thank you all the reporters who connect. Thank you. Thank you.